Yeah, hi. Oh, is this Rahul or what? Okay. So in your college, the classes are, means there was strike. Oh, okay. Okay. So, is it now visible? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So, students, uh, today we will start the uh, class, we will resume the class of uh, regular expression. Uh, uh, so, in the last class, uh, what we have studied, let me write it down. What we have studied in last class. So, what we have seen is we have looked at a new approach to uh, uh, new approach to consider language that is a regular expression way. That means uh, that means uh, we already have discussed about how we can construct machines or finite automata for a given language. Uh, in the last class, what we have studied is how we can construct regular expressions for the regular languages. Okay, so uh, we have gone. Th so we have gone through the mathematical definition, mathematical definition of uh, regular expression. Then we have gone through some basic operations, set operations that can be that can be performed over languages okay like union concatenation and uh, clean closure okay uh, then then uh, what we did is we uh, we uh, looked at one of the most important theorem that correlates the regular expression with regular language and the theorem tells me that a language is regular if and only if we can create an equivalent regular expression for it okay so is there is there any synchronization problem till this point no no i haven't started so okay so let me write down the point number 3 the uh, the theorem tells me that we have discussed about the theorem that is a language is regular if and only if there exists an equivalent regular expression for it so while proving this theorem, since it is an if and only if condition is there, we need to prove in both the ways. So, we have proved only in one way that is given a regular expression, if I can create an epsilon NFA, that means I can uh, for every regular expression I have an equivalent regular language. Okay? So, that way, so the first path of the theorem is proved. Today what we will uh, do, uh, let me write it down also, what we will study today. Today is we, we will prove this thing, prove that if there exists a DFA, then we can create a regular expression from it. So, this, this completes the theorem because uh, the other way around, if there is a regular language, that means there exists a DFA, 
that accepts the language so has someone else coming yes, yes. okay 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 uh, hi guys uh, so let me uh, uh, let me just uh, i was giving a brief uh, uh, means what we have studied in the last class uh, so in the last class we have studied about uh, regular expressions this is uh, another way to look at regular language so we had gone through the mathematical definition of regular expression we have also discussed about various set operations like union concatenation and clean closure that can be performed over regular languages then we have discussed one of the important theorem that is if a language is regular if and only if there exists an equivalent regular expression okay so while proving that theorem we have only uh, proved one part of the theorem that is given a regular expression there exist or uh, there always exist an equivalent if silent nfa and what does this mean so if there exists an epsilon nfa which means there exists a dfa because we can always convert a epsilon nfa to dfa and this means that ex there always exists a regular language defined by that dfa okay so today we'll start uh, the other way around of the proof that is if there exists a dfa can i create a regular expression from it and if i can then the theorem is proved okay so now then uh, i will uh, this is the first part i will do then in the second uh, i will go through some uh, regular expression arithmetics actually in exam uh, in bput there are several questions on this just just give me a second let me so uh, so we'll solve two problems on regular expression arithmetics today so one is uh, let me tell uh, prove or disprove the following proposition so these are the five marks question that has been asked in pt one is prove that prove that r plus s star is equal to so let me write it down so that uh, i will not forget it s star this is one question and another is prove that r s plus r star followed by the r is equal to r into sr plus r star so these are these two are the uh, the so these two questions have been asked uh, i think last year or last to last year uh, so we'll go 